This week we're in Oxford, back at Truck Festival, and we had so much fun. So come along for the ride. We first came here last year and it was an absolute riot, so we're thrilled to be back. Truck brands itself as the UK's most warped village fate and has been called the godfather of small music festivals. So race with us to set the tents up and come and join the pub crawl. We are TPD TV and this is The Real Deal. Executive producers, we cannot thank you enough for support in TPD TV. We can't do this without you. Join now for extended cuts and early access on videos. It's been a long drive, let me tell you. We're all feeling very tired. In need of a glass of the old wine that we drink now. Did you know about the wine? That was kind of annoying, that drive. Yeah. I didn't really enjoy any of that. That's it way too long. It's now a race between me and Vals because we've used these tents so many times. Who can put them up the quickest? And of course, it's me, even with my rib injury. Did you know I've got rib injury? So because we've raced to set these up, they're in really awkward positions. Have a look at this camp layout. So being the nice guy that I am, as soon as everyone else is getting ready, I'm going to be the barman and I'm going to make sure everyone's nice and hydrated while they're setting up the tents. On today's menu, only the finest. Tesco's own fruity red wine. I don't know where everyone's gone, so I guess I'll have this one. Cheers. <coughs> That's not what you think. <coughs> Just what I need. I don't know if the viewers know this, but I've actually injured my rib. I should be on some better painkillers than these, but you're not allowed to drink on the proper painkillers. How can I live without a glass of wine? Cheers. Never thought I'd become this person, but here we are. Rock, How do you work this? Right, step one at Truck Festival this year. Get some fucking food because oh. it's taken us somehow yes, six sir. hours it's to do a three hour drive. I step two, Chucky's come up with a game to make tonight entertaining. What's this? Slip and slide behind your mind. <laughs> this is an accident waiting to happen. Or instant fun, depending how you look at it. Take your shirt off, slide down when it's rolled. I nice think Zach wet. also so that had something to do with this festival. If it rains, it's just going to get wet and slippery. Absolutely. If it gets muddy, it's just going to get wet and slippery. I just went to that burrito place behind me, and for 12 quid, I just got this chicken burrito with everything on it. You heard that right, everything. And it looks nice anyway we're gonna start the truck festival music bar crawl scrap the music because there's not really any music on today so just the truck festival bar crawl <laughs> right we're gonna split into a team of two and a three yeah we happy with that yep. yeah aim of the game is simple be the group that drinks the most from the truck festival bar menu yeah yeah yep. in order to get a drink to count it must be filmed for our editor over here rob to be able to Don't just call me editor. the editor, I'm the fucking mastermind, <laughs> yeah. I'm the mastermind here. Editor, only one person can go to the bar from your group to grab- Folks, I'm just jumping in here on the voiceover because watching this, I don't even understand what the rules are and I was playing the game. It's quite simple. Number one, you have to have every drink on the menu in your team. Number two, you need to be doing an activity at Truck Festival while you're drinking. The aim of the game is to try every drink and try every activity. Sorry about the burp. Let's go. Wait, wait, just before we go, so what are the rules again? So, it seems like we're going to start off with some whiskey type of drinks. While someone goes to the bar to get that, we're going to partake in the activity of going on top of it, because you can go on top of it and that's an activity. Just in case you don't know what 20 people looks like. Right, so first of all, she was fucking lovely at that bar. What a nice lass. So we've got three different drinks. And then this is yours with the apple. Cheers, boys. Cheers. And the activity, I assume. The you activity saw them. is, yeah, we're up here viewing all of Truck Festival on top of the Jack Daniels. League. Cheers. Cheers, gang. You pay for the cup. So the cup was 150, and you got to keep hold of your cup. You got to keep oh. hold of the cup. You can obviously swap it out for a fresh one, but if you lose it, you got to buy another one for 150. So a bit annoying because this will probably be the only spirit we have for a little while. But true, spare that in mind. This gentleman has been unlucky enough to be dared by his friends to drink his drink through his own sock, which is <laughs> brilliant. And we're gonna steal this, but <laughs> just to give credit where it's due, it was this gentleman doing it first. Oh, I suppose round the trip is <laughs> We're gonna go to the Thatcher's bar. I like cider, cider's all right, but it's not really what I wanna be drinking right now, but I suppose get the cider over and done with now so I can drink the nice stuff in a bit. An activity, swinging on the swings in Thatcher's. Nice, I like it. The activity has presented itself to us straight away and the activity has been on a hot air balloon swing at the Thatcher's bar. The truck festival crowd is fucking lovely. They keep saying hello to us, which stops our progress in the fucking game. And we found a bar. Hey! 
got a fine selection. I've Ooh. got the Thatcher's Cloud Lemon. Anyway, boys, while you're drinking that, how are you finding the kids' tent? When a viewer's got a kid with them, which happens often as we're getting older, our viewers are having kids, bringing them to festivals. There's no I love more than meeting a kid at a festival. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to take that out of context, and that's fine if you want to do that. But I think it's so wholesome when, like, parents are bringing their kids to a festival and the kids having a great time, and I always just love that. And my kid's going to have a great life of live music when it eventually uh and we'll cut that bit out <laughs> he's never having kids is he cheers gang these taste like san pellegrino what's going on mary well it's a good job i'm not a bartender in it we're gonna do an activity that we love to do at festivals and that is go for a nice little wee in the portaloo so basically we're stretching the rules with this and the activity that we're gonna do is just drink while having a piss so this is a mad activity even for me but i guess needs must i'm gonna drink my beer while I stood in the portal loop. I guess I'll have a piss while I'm in here, but I've gone for the Brewdog Planet Pale Ale. Easy Pale, 4.3%. It's not what I want right now. Right, what we got? For you, I've got a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> oh, great. What? That's not a Jaeger bomb! Come the, on. The girl at the bar, bless her, they were lovely there. Didn't know what the foot the Jaeger bomb was. So I've got a full Red Bull with a shot of Jaeger with the thing in. It's still got it in there. That's not how you do it. It's still got <laughs> <and punch>. shots. <laughs> so the activity here is oh my god, these are fucking great. Cheers, everyone. The problem we're having right now is we want to leave, but we've still got drinks and we just stood around the toilets looking like creeps. So let, let's see them off. I guess this is our next activity. What's just sit down. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna go get you a drink now, okay? Thanks. The annoying thing is, I'm only seeing one sign over here for a drink, and I think Mary's gonna like it annoyingly. It's the only option we've got. This is chewing. I've never been in a hammock before, like not a real one. I've sat in a hammock chair, but what a great addition to a festival, and they've got like 20 of them available for use. Now, I could have gone for a cocktail there. That would have been the easy option. I ain't gonna do that. Because I'm going to leave that round for Mary because it's more expensive. What is that? <laughs> well, that was a mission and a half. White claw. So we've got a mango white claw. Yes! A raspberry white claw. Come on! Like. Could I please have the raspberry? So apparently this is the best way to do this. I don't think it is, but it's the way that we're doing it. I just didn't want to, to leave me alone again for 10 minutes. There's nothing better than sitting in a hammock and just drinking. It's a good activity. You know your homies. No spinal pressure. Spinal pressure. What? We, we've drank literally every option almost on the bar. Uh, so we're now down to a shot of tequila, which I have to rush because it's seeping through the thing. I Get might need a chaser merch. for this. Get under the oh, merch. And we're Review at the, the merch. merch. Review the merch. And then, we'll, then well, it counts. The merch looks good. No disrespect to any of the artists that are selling these CDs for this weekend. But it's just fucking time to stop, in it? Because who's buying a CD? You're either listening to it on your phone digitally, or you're buying a vinyl because it's a bit cool. And a bit but it's quality. analog. You get a little booklet, a small disc, and it's not like in 20 years' time it's going to come back into fashion. No one's going to be walking around with the CD players with the headphone jack, are they? There's a CD here of Coldplay. Who's coming to Trunk Festival and buying Coldplay on CD? Their best yet says Enemy. So they've got something legitimately interesting here, which is the mystery bundle of seven inch singles you get five singles for three quid so we're each gonna get one we're gonna see who's got the best record hammocks are done next activity which is gonna be what are we doing the next activity yeah but what is that you tell that's that's why i point the camera at you you're gonna tell them what it is let's go bar get shots yeah but what's what? the what's the activity do i look this bad in real life yes we always get the vodka red bulls here they do the vodka gin bulls which might be a normal thing but we've just never seen it and you get it with gin mint lime and red bull watermelon so i'm going to try one of them instead Look at the crowd, see that, and change it up, because this is gas. There's finally a 
song that we know and we know we can dance to. So guess what? Activity. We're trying to make sure we're in front. Rob, go on, get a fucking wiggle up. My ribbers, mate, my ribbers. Fuck your rib, you fucking. So, this is Adam, and he's been challenged to do a, a, a press up with a stranger. Or I've press never up challenge. In my life. I, I don't know if you know this, views, but I'm, I think I've broken my rib. Here we go again. He's been telling <laughs> everyone. He's been telling everyone. So we went to the cocktail bar, I've got myself a margarita, I thought it was a pizza, I'm a bit disappointed that it's not. The lady behind the bar, lovely lass, favourite song is Baby I'm Yours by Arctic Monkeys, a rare one but a good one. The activity is going to be unboxing our mystery vinyl boxes, so I'll go first. King, tears to your tears. I like what you're doing to me, instrumental. Oh I do like what you're doing. September in the Rain by Dinah Washington. Leo. An artist I've heard of. <laughs> really? Honolulu Baby and Laurel and Hardy featuring Ty Parvis. Laurel. Maybe she's born with it. <laughs> oh, Laurel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Laurel and Hardy. Laurel and Hardy. Maybe she's born with it. Fuck <laughs> La Laurel and Hardy. Maybe she's born with it. Fuck. Lonnie. You want to say his last name? Lonnie Donegan. So we're back at camp. Quick recharge. We get out the old red. And we grab a little drinky poo. Mary, do you want a drink? That's enough. Thank you. The Wombats are truly such an underrated band. Like, they are brilliant. The first two tracks are absolute bangers. And the good thing is, I know they've got so much more, so many more. Big up the Wombats. They should get booked more. So I've got a lost lager. I've got the can of wine. So last year, we tried to come in here for a bit of food. But if you watch last year's vlog, you might realise everything will close pretty much in here. You know what? Food smells great. It's a shame we all ate earlier because it does smell fucking great in here. And I'm sure there's some good food. Maybe tomorrow we'll pop in and get some food. But while I'm waffling on, we've got a drink to have. A cheers. A cheers. It smells great in here. I guess I'll have a beer. We've had a good one so far. There's one more activity to do.
Thank you, beautiful, clean wombats. <laughs> Was that fun? <laughs> Costume back. I feel like ACDC going upstairs. <laughs> Girls thunderstruck. Hello. Hey, it's Chris Tarrant here with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Is that Chuck? It is, it is, mate. Chuck, I've got Raz, Mary, and Jake here, and they want to know a quick answer to a question. Have you got time? Uh, I'm, I've got time, mate. I'll just make it a brief. Okay, 60 seconds on the clock. Should we go over this way or over this way? And I'm a, I appreciate you're on the phone, but what do you think? When, when does my time start? Your time starts now. So which way we're we talking about? North, east, west, or south? It's south, south. Right. Uh, or north? Or north. And who? Are, I'm here for Jake, Mary, and Raz. Yes. Um, well, we're from the north, so I'm gonna stick to my gut, and I'm gonna say north. <laughs> Hey, guess what? There's one thing I remember from last year at Truck. The Yorkie. Big up the Yorkie. Because yeah. we are five man them from, from Yorkshire. And we about to scram down on that Yorkie pudding, man. We had a water. Oh, yeah. Can I get a water as well, please, man? Yes, hammer. This is fucking well nice. And it was on the house. So thank you to the gentleman running the Yorkie stand. I'm so blessed. But even if it wasn't on the house, I'd still be giving it a positive review. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh my rib. You know what? I love a can of water at a festival. Well, I don't really love it, but I understand the need for it. You know, sustainability and all that. But when you pay £2.80 for this shitter, and how many mils is this? It's got to be a 3.30 in it. Let's have a look. 3.30. Give me a fucking liquid death. And that's 500 mil. It's still annoying because I want to have a bit now and a bit in the morning when I'm gasping and hungover. Now I need to choose between whether I'm going to open this and down it now and then be pained in the morning. Or if I'm going to, going to go to sleep with a big dry mouth after eating a full-on Yorkshire pudding Sunday dinner meal. Hey, I tell you what, in a stark contrast to what you might have just seen, here's something a little bit different. And it's really good because I've crafted it. It's very good. Come enjoy this with me won't you welcome to hotel de vito once again it ain't roomy it ain't pretty the roof is literally just there that's all the the front of the van the the seats turn around it's lovely i can sit there i can get ready in the morning I look forward to that big old jackery unit big up jackery love yous and then we've got we've got pat finity just on the laptop there no bother i'm having a great night it's all, it's all good in here man it's, it's it's a bit luxurious anyway where's my sleeping bag so i just went to use the toilets and they're all fucked man bar one i don't know what it is but people at night time just fuck toilets up oh shit what? i just don't get it man just like why are you fucking up the toilets, man? Why are they covered in shit on the floor? Morning. Morning. How are you? Uh, not great, mate. Why? I think that Yorkie uh, place fucked my stomach up last night. Sure, has got nothing to do with what's in your lap right now. No. As always, I'm the eager beaver. First one up. The first one wants to get ready and done so I can get ready and prepared for the day that is ahead of us. Yeah, just as I thought. Two by one shower, not a lot of space, but it's fine. Water pressure. Ooh, you know what that'll do? It's one of the holding buttons, but not mine, I guess. Good shower? The shower was alright, to be fair. It did a job. Um, it was just one of those, like, one by two, like, 
sweat yeah. and things. It was fine. How long did it take to uh, queue? Overall, maybe about half an hour and queuing to get in. in. Not too bad, I guess. I've just seen a glitch in the what? fucking... Just seen a glitch in the Matrix. Really? You yeah. just walk past in the background. What? I might not have a shower if it takes half an hour. I'm just going to have one at mine tomorrow morning. Now, obviously having a shower at a festival is great because it makes you feel clean. But when you've got a lot of hair, it takes forever to dry. And the last thing you want is, so for a day like today right now where it's pretty overcast, a little bit chilly, I don't want to catch a cold, you know, because we all say don't leave the house with wet hair. So... Thanks to our sponsor today, Jackery, it means I can plug in my air dryer and dry it and then I'm nice and dry. And there we go, within a couple of minutes, I'm dry and the convenience is just so good. Yesterday as a whole was, was good. It was way better than I thought and it really, really surprised us all how good it was. Everyone's so nice. Chucky's game was great. Um, we just had a blast. We were out dancing till it closed. And today is Matty Bridie's birthday, so wish him a happy birthday in the comments. Come here, please. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, I got crap. Oh, I got crap. Oh, I got crap. <laughs> What's going on? I've got cramp. What's going on? Please, the spider. I'm scared of spiders. Oh, please, please get in there. There. Oh, my God. Man, I tell you what's awful. Getting cramp and dealing with that. I felt like I was in fucking war then. Oh, I've got cramp. I've got cramp. Right, get out of the tent. Oh, God, I'm so it's not dead, it's dead. Please, oh, please. I really can't do it. Right, hang on, hang on. No, Are don't you... use the bottle of wine that oh, we're going to still drink. It's there in the corner, it's there in the corner. I was just going to stomp at it. Oh, that's a small one. Oh, right. Take this, oh, I'll, I'll sort it, don't worry. Do you want the wine? Mary, that is tiny. Right. So I've brought my red t-shirt that come with me to three festivals and I've not had a chance to wear it. Well. So I'm really glad. No, but I, I know in the group chat the other day you were saying that you're getting a bit stressed because you don't really know what to wear. Yeah, you were saying that yesterday at flat, saying yeah, you didn't know what I to wear. Struggle. I mean, this is this is a bottom of the barrel one, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, you know what? I, I didn't want to say, but... Well, me and Chuck picked you out of Garmin yesterday. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Big, they? <laughs> no, they're small. <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, shirt's off. He's ready for his next item. Close your eyes again. <laughs> no chance. No chance. Not in a million fucking years. Not a bad morning. Just had a shower. Just getting ready in the van. Had an alright night's sleep. Just uh, straightening my hair with the jackery. Feeling pretty good, man. Tonight should be sick. Anyway, we've got we've got 12 hours to kill until then, so let's do some shit. Just got on the app and realised we're doing the silent disco for three fucking hours, man. Jesus Christ, we're going to need to be ready for that. Man's over here looking like Lance Arm Week. <laughs> Coming from you, what well, fit you saying, boy? We're in the George tent now, the a vegan milk alternative. And they sell iced coffees with vanilla flavour, so we're gonna chill on some bean bags and drink them. Just because I drink alternative <laughs> milk, it doesn't mean I want to have oats every time. Everything is free, which is a good price. I like that kind of price. Price I can get behind. Complimentary. That is nice. Yeah. And it's free. Nicer than regular milk. <laughs> I can tell the difference, but you know what? No cows will harm me. Cows love bean milk, man. I've got a dare for you, Rob. Right. Right, you need to go up to a food vendor and you need to say, Hey, have you had any pickles? <laughs> I can't do that, man. Yeah, you can. There's no way. Please. I can't do that. If they ask for your name at a food vendor place, you've got to say your pickle, Rick. I, I, in the voice. This is so not me or anything I stand for. I think it's pretty much you, man. I'll tell you what, Mary's picked an outfit for me. I might go and buy a little accessory for Mary. Oh, really? Good idea. I put a lot of thought into it and that was the worst one that we could find. Just a nice hat for you. God, I'd love some coke right now. I thought, because you're such a good brother getting Mary an outfit, I thought you deserved another part of your outfit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Please, God, no. Oh, yeah. that is a fit. Ten pounds well spent there. 
my amusement all weekend. <laughs> People are gonna recognize me. No, it's a good disguise. So, <laughs> like fucking Howard Moon. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Hello guys, welcome back to Hydraulic Press Channel. <laughs> We've said it before, and I'll say it again. Indian street food, so, so nice. Really high quality, good Indian food. Big up. I think I've either got food poisoning or just the shits, because that was like my second or third shit of the day, and it was just liquid, but I also thought we're gonna throw up while we're having it. So I'm gonna go lay in a hammock for like five minutes to see if that sorts me out for a bit of water. Every festival I've been to this year, you can't buy a double. You've got to buy a separate short, which costs a lot more. But here, they even ask, do you want to make that a double? And that's why this festival's really Did you good. get a double? Of course I did. Say goodbye to my hat. Come on, let's get rid of the hat. Let's get rid of the hat. Let's get rid of the hat. Of the hat. <laughs> yes, it's gone. <laughs> I feel quite fragile after that, but at least I've lost my hat. Thank God. How are you feeling? Need some coffee after that. How's your rib? Uh, ribs all right. Shall we uh, go see Chucky? Yeah, go on then. I found your hat. I love crumpets and you just can't get them anywhere. So I'm excited to have some with some Marmite as well. Delicious. Is that Marmite? It's Marmite butter. I like Marmite. Ah, full. Lovely. It is. It's sounding nice when you bit into it. Yeah, nice crunch. We think everything in this tent is for charity, which is nice. Those crumpets were fucking delicious. And Mary's just ordered something. Pancake for a quid with any topping you want. That's all right, I've got two pancakes, both with golden syrup on. They're not like homemade pancakes. So I can tell they were like store-bought, but you know what? If you like short on money, this is a great place to come because everything's proper good value. People always think that like backstage access is cool. And I'm here to tell you, it's shit. It's not cool at all. Look at everything that's going on backstage. Literally, fuck all. People loaded in. People loaded out. It's boring, you know. What's up with you? This what? He's attached this wristband. So Who? fucking this bearded prick. Look at that. That's so Shot uncomfortable with time. And I've got little wrists. That now, is pretty look, tight. It's not you know, You've got wrists. and I was like, Jake, that's too tight. Just proceeds to do it anyway. Don't let him tie that without me. And there we go. Perfect. She's making out right that I just went bad. She was had all the opportunity to stop me from doing I was that. Get up! You question why you you're like, oh, are you my best friend? When you talk about this, no, I'm not your best friend. Oi! Yeah. Both of you, stop fighting. You go with her and get her a new wristband. You you're gonna cause an accident here. Folks, we are thrilled to tell you that our friends at Jackery have sponsored this video. We are here on site at Truck Festival with the Jackery Explorer 1500 Pro, and we're gonna show you what we're using it for this weekend. I personally have been using this product in my van because we're not too far away from the campsite, so I've just been sleeping in there, and this thing has been powering my laptop while I've been working, my phone, my watch, my other laptop, and currently it's powering all of those things at once with the solar panel that we'll get to in a minute and this speaker so we've got the dj decks here that it's powering my laptop so that's the full dj setup with the speaker you've you've got the 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 three pin plugs there so that's the ac you've got two usb c ports you've got two usb a ports uh, so that's all your mobile devices charging let's get this party started am i right <laughs> where's my wife Go 
good god that screen anyway just a personal thank you to jackery for sorting all this because it's actually given us time to prepare for the dj set which we've not even had time to prepare for this is the jackery solar saga 200 watt solar panel and to me and you non-techie people it's a big solar panel why have you got a solar panel well the sun's just come out and it's shining and why not collect all of that energy that green energy oh Raz. yeah <laughs> The solar panel generates 50% more power in low light conditions than conventional <laughs> solar panels. <laughs> Chuck, Yo. Chuck, what's your battery percentage on? 100% mate. Yeah? Yeah. But haven't you been filming all weekend? Of course I have. Have you got it 100%? Well, how do you think? With a bloody jackery of course. My name was originally going to be Jack, but my grandma got a dog a few weeks before I was born and called it Jack. So really, my name was stolen. But thankfully, nothing's stolen about this product because it's great. Check the link below. What does that mean, <laughs> nothing's stolen about this product? Check the link down below at all the great Jackery products. And also, there's some great products still to come. So keep your eyes peeled. Big or small, Jack them all It's like Mike was out skilled and onto White Claw. Is that the Incredible Hulk? The bloody flubber stretched out over arms, and she? Oh, I didn't know there was a green man group now. Give me that white claw back, and who stole Christmas? Oh, look at that ogre over there. Yo, I've never seen that Pokemon before. Is that a Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur, am I right? Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. She's a ho. Bloody hell, it's Thunderbird too. Oh, you can tell she smokes the ganja, eh? Somebody stop me! I know we're recycling, but that's a bit too green for me. Bergies. Oh, whoa, is that the best football team in Glasgow? Mary, are you upset and a coward? No, I... Because you're blue and yellow. Green. <laughs> yeah, you know what they say. She's a lean, green, OS machine. Am I right? Mary, are you jealous of something? You're green with envy right now. Tell me you play with slime and slime videos. Well, tell me you play with slime and slime videos. They always told us to wait for the green man, not the green woman. Where have you come from, Greenland? I thought we were at Glasgow Green last weekend. Hey, I know where you pick up from, Bethnal Green. Hey, love, you ever seen the Green Mile? Hey, Mary, what's your favorite film? Green Street. Ah, oh, Grove Street for life! What's your favourite classical song? Is it Green Sleeves? Someone don't want to be an American idiot. Green Day. Hey Mary, you're ugly inside and out. Let's go somewhere else. Oh, there's not enough bins here. That would be Truck Festival. I'd say double the, the amount of bins that you have. Thank you. I'm gonna get face gems. It's DJ set tonight. I've gotta to spice myself up a little bit. I'm thinking these. What do you think? Yeah, they go with your outfit. Yeah. Yo, so we're going to the Mitchum thing, whatever Mitchum is. Here we are. <laughs> All right, folks, it's time to see the most innovative band in the world. Our favorite and yours, the Ratons from Yorkshire. That's a great show. I think we're gonna end up quite big fans of the ratings, for better or worse. The boys are watching the ratings and I just felt sick. I've been feeling sick for a while. I think because we've been sat drinking boxed wine and I haven't really had any water. And I'm just feeling like one, if I go in like a pot loo that stinks, I'll probably throw up and I might actually just do that on purpose so that I feel better because 
carry on like this. Right, Valve. Yeah. It's not a co-op. No, it's not. But let's check out the supermarket here, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Let's Sounds give good it thing. a whirl. Here we are. Oh, we've got energy drinks. Oh, nice. Want one of these? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, should we get one? Yeah, go on then. Cool. Not bad. Four quid for Red Bull. It's, Four quid? It's, yeah, it's no co-op. Okay. Are you guys coming in a review? Hmm? Is that a review? Are you tired? Is it worth my money? Are you tired? Are you tired? I can't tell you. Okay, of you could tired. use a pick me up, right? Yeah, it's something could, legal and healthy. You don't want to be da you don't want to be dabbling in anything dodgy. No, I, I don't want to okay. get arrested, you know. Listen, I've got the answer for you. For four of your English pounds, just Ooh, four, you can have a red bull. 250 yeah. milliliters. Is it legal? I'm Louise, I'm Louise. Let me give it a try. This is Louise, she's gonna give it a whirl. Four pounds, so she just had about Ooh, 35 okay. pence worth there. What do you think of that? She's not sleeping tonight, Louise, what? everybody! <laughs> What? <laughs> what I meant is she'll be awake all night. Thanks, Louise. So it's the calm before the storm. It's a little while since we've done this. You feeling all right? Yeah. You sure? Okay. So we'll go. We'll do the set. We'll freshen up and um, just give the old pizza go. Back at the van, getting all the stuff for the DJ set. Feeling a little bit. I don't want to say nervous, but out of practice because we haven't done this in a while. And it's literally been since like Piccadilly. Um, yeah, but either, either way, it'll be good. I'm excited. It's going to be good. And most of all, I'm going to get very drunk. And so is everyone else. So who really cares if it's shit? Anyway, here comes everyone else. So let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to have a wine. <laughs> think about this like when you're in when you're in a band and we're not a band but we are sometimes when you're in a band and like let's say you're doing a set at the same time as the other headliner you must be fucking gutted like imagine being on the same time as like Foo Fighters or something like that at a, at a festival or just some big band you would be absolutely gutted because as good as you are you'd want to see them feeling good brother Excellent, Don't tie yourself out. Oh, look at me, I'm relaxing. I'm on my holidays, mate. I'm on my fucking holidays. Just making a nice checklist for us, actually. What's that? Work hard and party hard. Am I right? Am I right? It. Sorry, truck festival. We're uh, running late because Chucky needed a shit. That what a bad time to have a shit. You know what's worse what? is so you know about that dicky tummy. Yeah. When I did that fart, I was like, if I don't run, I'm gonna shit myself. And I said, I'd rather sh be a bit late than shit myself on stage. Right. You ready? Yep. I wake up at four in the morning. I can't believe you called my phone again. I'm going out of my head thinking of you. How could you do all this to me? I feel free finally. Well, that went down a fucking tree. Sorry, Raz. I'm sorry if I was annoying, mate. We were just having a good time. But um, what a great fucking evening that was. Truck Festival smashed it, mate, out the park. Not us, you lot. Truck Fest, we've had a fucking riot this weekend, of course. This festival has been the most surprisingly great weekend of our lives. Well, I'm only speaking for myself, but I wasn't really excited to come to Truck. But do you know what? We got here, 
and immediately started having a great time. So thank you everyone. We're gonna wind the vlog down now because uh, we've got lots of shit to do and I'm tired, but we'll see you next week, baby. I'm trying to do a calzone, but it's not quite folded the way I want Mary. Oh my god. Mary. <laughs> well, truck, you have surprised us the most. We have had so much fun. An absolute blast. It's particularly on that first day. I think that's because of Chucky. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, the people we've met here are so nice. Some of the nicest people that we've had the pleasure of meeting. And it's always nice to be in a position to say that. And we're in that position because you're watching the vid. So big up yourselves. Thanks to all the names on screen right now. Shout out Razzy there with his Lego hair in the background. Hello. We are now off to Tramlines Festival live and direct to watch some bands and get very drunk. So we'll see you in Yorkshire. God's Thanks County. Thanks set if you did as well. That was really good. It was good that we had a lot of time. I mean a lot of... <laughs> We had a lot of time. We had a lot of fun. A lot of time was had. And there was too much time to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> right, we'll Bye. see you. See you next week. We good? Yeah. All right, so here we are. Oh, we've got energy drinks. Oh, nice. Want one of these? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, should we get one? Yeah, go on then. Cool. Oh, what a stupid bit to do. Is that it? That's 